Hello everyone, this is Julie with Artfinity and Beyond. And today we're going to be doing a live painting session at the Living Gallery in Brooklyn, New York. Now I know you're thinking, live painting at the Living Gallery? That is the most live thing I've ever heard of in my life. And you're probably right. List of supplies and links to all the cool people listed below. Just blocking out her facial structure right now, doing some undertones. I'm gonna change the camera angle later on, but right now it's all shiny. For this piece, I use some black Frederick's artist canvas. It's a tongue twister. Black canvas makes the colors richer and adds more depth. Also, the black mutes the colors a lot, so it makes everything look a bit more believable. This brings me to my next point. Make sure you have a light source and stick to it. I have a lot of trouble with that as well. Make sure the center of the iris will align with the end of the lip. See how rich this brown looks? It's like chocolate just dripping under the paper. So ASMR. Captain, permission for intermission. Permission granted, Private. Jail is just sitting there keeping me company. So far, all I've been using is a Filbert brush, size 4, uh, silver white brand. Filbert brushes are awesome because you can get those flat lines, you can also get rounded bits if you like kind of put the brush on an angle to the canvas. Finally putting in the irises so she doesn't look like Storm from X-Men. Alright, I'm going to let you guys enjoy these clips from the vocal artists and talk to you later.
ending my night at a super hipster bar and in true New York fashion I have a bit of New York subway music for you. <laughs> Good morning! We got up the next morning and went to the Harlem Art Show in Harlem, and this is a couple of clips from that. I'm going over those little orange butterfly shapes in the background to make them look like they're further away and then I'll do more butterfly shapes on top of that. So now that we have the face and the face structure, we just need to work on making it look a bit more like the person that we wanted to. We're going for subtle changes in tone. The more subtle changes in tone you have, the more mature your painting looks. Okay, so a little bit about this piece. First of all, the model's name is Lydia. Her Instagram is linked below. Um, second of all, I wanted to do a person, a girl, who was the monarch of monarchs. You know, like, the queen of monarchs. So, um, I have a bunch of monarch butterflies flying around her, and she's just live in her extra life, girl. All right guys, she's all done. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it. And also, if you like it, mentally, physically, and technologically, like it. Click the thumbs up button. Take the dive and subscribe. I post art stuff every week.